Hey there YouTube, Lator Awesome here, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red Omega. In the last part, we made very short work of Misty up there in Cerulean City, and then we got confused and annoyed because I hadn't done the Pokemon ra prepared the Pokemon ratings for this route. Route 5! Um, and also we'll be covering Route 6 in this one too. So, there's only one new Pokemon found in the grass here in Route 5, um, which is, uh, as you can see, is very strange grass, so I'm just going to cut ahead until I find it. Yeah, it was the first new Pokemon, uh, first wild I ran into. Anyway, this is Meowth. Meowth is the only po new Pokemon found in the grass here in Route 5. It is a normal type introduced in the first generation. Uh, Meowth is a very famous Pokemon because, you know, in the anime, Team Rocket has one, or he's with Team Rocket, something like that. Anyway, it talks, and he's cool. Um, in the games, Meowth is actually a pretty decent Pokemon. Um, he's really fast. He l Let me see. Is he going to be faster than Red Eyes here? No. Well, that just proved my point. But anyway, uh, he's really fast. He gets good moves. He's a normal type, which means he's all right. Um, and yeah, he levels up fairly quickly. So he gets a 6 out of 10 in game. So he's pretty good. Pretty good. Um, yeah, that actually does it for the new Pokemon found in the grass. There is one more new Pokemon, which I will point out in a minute. Um, in here, this is the Pokemon Daycare Center. Uh, you can drop off one of your Pokemon. And for each step you take in the game, you get what that Pokemon will gain one point of experience. Uh, you have to pay them 100 Poke Dollars for each level up the Pokemon gets while they're in there. Um, but basically, it's very useful for raising a low-level Pokemon, like a Magikarp, if you want to drop a Magikarp in there and then not have to grind it yourself. It's useful. Um, I don't really use it much. I might... I won't in this game. In other games, I might if I get a really low level Pokemon further into the game and just want to, you know, you can use super speed on an emulator and make it go really quickly. Anyway, you might be thinking that this is the right way to go. You'd be wrong. Um, yeah, you can't go here yet until you get the thirsty guards something to drink, because as we all know, if you give guards drinks, they will let you pass where no matter what the situation is. So what you have to do is go to the underground path here. This is another one of those points in the game where I'm like, if you don't know what you're doing, you know, how would you know to go through the broken house? I mean, I guess you'd figure that out eventually. But then go in here. Anyway, if you talk to this girl, she will trade you a snow runt for a C dot. They can't get C dot yet. He's in the next route. Um, but I'm gonna cover snow runt here because, well, this, this is the first. Ah, eh, this is the first chance you have to get one. Snow runt is a pure ice type introduced in the third generation. Uh, he's. Decent. I mean, he evolves into Glalie. Uh, in the fourth gen, he evolves into Frostlass, which is Ghost Ice, or Ice Ghost, and slightly better. Uh, but, you know, Ice is a good type to have in game, but Snow Runt isn't the best of them. He gets a 6 out of 10 in game. Um, and, yeah, I can recommend making this trade, because you can get a C Dot really easily in the next route. But, yeah. Anyway, this is the Underground Path. Welcome to it. Anyway, um, there are hidden items on the ground here. I'm way too lazy to look for them. Like, ever. I think I found, like, I think I found a Paralyzed Cure in here. In the Leaf Green run, but whatever. Um, yeah, she, sa she basically tells you that there's things down here. Anyway, this is the start of Route 6. So this is the first new Pokemon that you can get in Route 6. That's right, free stuff! You get a Chikorita! Ah... Uh. It's a fun Pokemon, he says. Liar! Anyway, Chikorita here is a pure grass-type starter introduced in the second generation. In my opinion, and most people's opinion, and factually based, Chikorita is the weakest of all starters. Um, it is a pure grass-type. It doesn't have the best stats in the world. And it doesn't... I mean, it has good moves. It has really good moves early on. But it can never really take advantage of those, and then later on it gets a... It doesn't have a good move pool. Uh, it still gets a 7 out of 10 for in-game, because it is pretty good. But unlike basically every other starter Pokemon, um, there are better pure grass types out there. Uh, there are better grass types in general out there. Um, for example, the Breloom I have with me. Way better. Um, but yeah, it's still pretty good. So still 7 out of 10, but it's just, it's lacking in comparison to the other 
new Pokemon. Or, no, not the other new Pokemon, the other starters. So anyway, this is Route 6. Now, there are trainers on Route 6. I will be battling them today. Uh, but I kind of feel like getting all the new wild Pokemon out of the way first. So I'm just going to be over in this patch of grass here while I find them. So, yeah. Okay, the first new Pokemon that you can find in the grass here in Route 6 is Lotad. Lotad is a water grass Pokemon introduced in the third generation. Its evolution, Lombre, can also be found for the first time in this route. Um, Lotad and Lombre are odd. Uh, they have really bad moves early on, and they rely heavily on TMs. But once you get them TM moves and stuff, they're really good. Um, it also... Its final evolution is Ludicolo, which in a Pokemon spin-off game is the main Pokemon of one of my favorite video game characters ever. If you know what game I'm talking about, you know who I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, Lotad and Lombre both get a 7 out of 10 in-game. Uh, their evolutions. And, um, yeah. They're pretty good. Okay, the next new Pokemon found here in Route 6 is C-Dot. Also, C-Dot's evolution, Nuzleaf. Um... C-Dot is a pure grass type introduced in the third generation. His evolutions, Nuz Nuzleaf and Shiftry, are grass dark types. Um, C-Dot is pretty good. Uh, he gets a 6 out of 10 in game because there are plenty of better grass types, but he's grass dark, which is kind of an interesting niche, I guess. Um, there's nothing fantastic about him, but he's not, you know, bad. Um, also, Anyone who knows what Nuzlocking is, it comes from the name Nuzleaf, and yeah. Anyway, uh, Pokemon Nerd is showing. So yeah, CDOT and Nuzleaf, both 6 out of 10. Anyway, um, there is another area here in Route 6. Oh shoot. Oh no. I forgot to do something. Just a second! Old Pokemon that can be found here in Route 5 include Pidgey, Oddish, Hoppip, Talo, and Skitty. Um, now, a lot of these Pokemon, I have said where they are like five or six times. Those being Pidgey, Oddish, Talo, and Skitty. Up above, I've only said like twice or three times. Uh, so I will no longer be saying when Pidgey, Oddish, Talo, or Skitty are in new routes. Just not gonna do it, because I'm tired of saying their names over and over and over. Okay, back to where I was. Okay, I forgot to do that, but right here in this water is one of my favorite things about this hack. Um, if it will appear, then I will show you. Will it appear? Yes, it will! First try! This is Feebas! It is the only new Pokemon that you can find by fishing here in Route 6, and Feebas is a really good Pokemon. Well, no. Hold on. Feebas is like Magikarp in that it's completely useless until it evolves. Once it evolves, its evolution, Milodic, is very, very, very good, especially for in-game. Uh, it's more defensively based, but it's got great special attack, uh, and, you know, it just doesn't go down. Um, I mean, it does. It's, it's pretty much the second best pure water type defensively that I can think of in this game. Um, well, no. There's a couple more. But they aren't, they, they aren't as good at an offense as Milotic. Um, Feebas gets an 8 out of 10 for this game because you can catch him by fishing and, you know, he evolves at level 20, so it's not even that much of a pain to grind him. And you can teach him Water Pulse right away, um, which means he's not completely useless. However, in the main games, Feebas can only be found in four individual spots in the entire game. That's Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. I think it's six individual spots in um, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, the third generation where it was first introduced. That means, see this spot that I'm pointing to? It could be found there, but not here. Yeah, it's annoying as all get out. It is, one of, it is like my favorite thing ever that Drayano decided to put Feebas in kind of commonly. Um, I actually used one in my other run just for the novelty of using a Feebas for the first time. Okay! Now, that covers all the new Pokemon that can be found in Routes 5 and 6. So it's time to start fighting people! Finally! Um, and I can also talk about a few things. Um, this video will hopefully, well, yeah, 
It'll go up on Friday morning. Friday afternoon, I am going away for a week. Um, I had a lot to do to prepare for this. I'm, I'm just going to be fighting these guys and talking at the same time. Um, so, this is actually the only video I'll be putting up. The leaf green is, well, already on hiatus, I guess. Um, so, yeah. I will be gone for a week, and therefore there will be no more episodes, no new episodes, until I get back, which is next Saturday, which is in August sometime. I don't remember exactly when. Um, yeah, I'm way too lazy to figure out what date that will be. But, whatever! Um, Red Eyes is just going to continue owning this place, so, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to get through. I guess. Anyway, um, this guy just died. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, right. I should talk to him. He's going back to Verdian Forest. Smart move. Um, now we talk to these two campers who are talking to each other and, like, all secretive and. <gasps> you have a war turtle. Oh, snot. Red Eyes would die if you fought this. Um, Ned, get in there. Hopefully you will do stuff. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, I had something else to say, but I forget what it was. Uh, fist sticks! I don't know. That was this, the first thing that popped into my head. Um, yeah, so... This is what I... What? I don't know. My mind's like elsewhere. I've I've got like a bajillion things going on. Haha, <laughs> they're whispering. And I have three minutes to finish off these fools. Ugh! Um, yeah, I have four trainer battles left. Three minutes to do it in. Super speed. Whee! It's so much fun! It's so much fun! It's so much... Ooh! Wow, Red Eyes almost died and I didn't notice. Uh, Pikachu! You can fight Ned. And get headbutted. And die. Thank you. Um, I'm gonna heal up now because... Do I have potions? Completely out of potions. Yup. Um, this is like one of the few roots where I just heal in the root because it's too annoying otherwise. Uh, this guy! In the main games, he's actually a bit of a pain. Um, I forgot to do a joke about Feebas. Uh, I'll do it now! Um, I gave Feebas a rating of 8 out of 10 in this game. In the main games, I give it a rating of negative 12 out of 10. Yes, it's that annoying. Why? Because I've spent like 6 hours trying to get a stinking Feebas in Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. And it hasn't- why am I not super speeding? Thank you. <laughs> I'm wondering is- oh, this guy is not a threat in this game. Uh, in the main games he has a Butterfree that's like high leveled and has all the status condition moves. Um. Yeah, anyway. It is possible to skip all but one trainer on this route. Um, I showed that off in the Leaf Green run already. Um, actually, there is another reason that I am doing this at Super... Freak. Super Speed. Um, yeah, as you can see, I'm grinding Red Eyes a little bit because... Because... Oh, shoot. I'm not going to have time for this. Ah, um. Shoot! Go faster, super speed! Please level up. Yes, thank you. Okay, Red Eyes has now hit level 24. Um, I'm going to kill this guy really, really quickly. Captain Tab is 26. Wow, he's over leveled. Yay, Red Eyes is evolving! Ah, I wanted to get this done before um, I left for a week. Because now all three members of my team are evolved. Fully evolved, actually. So, Red Eyes has evolved into... Houndoom! Yeah, I wanted to give him his own cry. Um, so, I have sped through all of Route 6 and gotten Houndoom. Uh, Red Eyes is now a Houndoom. Uh, I'll check up on his stats and stuff later, I guess, and point that out in the next video. So, next time, when I get back, we hit Viridian City and... Maybe get our fourth team member. See you guys in a week! Oh, and bye, bye!